talking about U35s, U23s, the Olympics is going on right now. Yeah. Uh, a long time ago, 16 years ago, you were in the Olympics. What do you remember about that experience as an 18-year-old in 2000? Awesome. I'm a huge sports fan, always have been. The Olympics, forget about the soccer piece, just as the experience of being in Sydney around all that, being in the village, seeing all of that, was one of the best experiences of my life. And it's actually, that's the sad part for me that we're not in the Olympics on the men's side. So we have all these kids that don't have the opportunity to experience that. So it's sad on one level, it's a little disturbing on another level that we're not qualifying for a tournament like this. But, you know, we, we've got to remedy that quickly. Yeah, that's, since that, you guys finished fourth in 2000. The U.S. has only made one Olympics in men's soccer in the last four. Right. Why is that? It's a good question. Um, I wish I could just say, well, once or twice or three times we had one bad game in the game that mattered in qualifying that made it so we couldn't go. But the reality is, is if that happens three times out of the last four, that's a trend, right? And so we need to look at it seriously. My personal opinion is that we're not developing players that are capable enough consistently to do well at this level. And so that goes, I mean, that's a big, long discussion for another day probably. But we need to do a better job at a young age of developing these kids. You've had your history with Jurgen Klinsmann, obviously. Is that a priority of him to develop the youth right now? I think originally when he came in, it was. I think, and you know, this I, I can't speak for him. It's just my observation from the outside. I think he's probably realized that it's a really big ask and it's a really big task that takes not three years or five years, but takes 20 years worth of work. So I know he's passionate about it. He cares about it. At the end of the day, his job as the national team coach is to win games for our national team. And I think he understands that. So there's a lot of smart people that are working both publicly and behind the scenes to make this whole thing better. It's going to take time. We've got to continue on the path we're on. Have you ever imagined yourself as manager of the U.S. men's soccer team? Have I ever imagined myself? No. No. But uh, could it happen one day? Maybe. There's a lot of steps that would have to happen first, and I'd have to do a lot of work and practice and have the passion for it. Um, but you never know. I never say never. Is managing something you've thought about from a a lower level maybe than the national yeah, team? Yeah, take, I'm taking a course next week, my first coaching course. So I do like the ability to have an influence on people and not just soccer-wise, right, as people. Yes. And having the ability to dip my toe in a little bit over the last few years has been really enjoyable. So I think there's potential there for something to happen. Um, whether it happens or not, whether I'm passionate about it, whether I'm any good at it, I don't know until I try, so we'll see.